Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently uh, about 10 to 6 on Sunday the 1st of October 2023. I'm literally reading the last couple of pages of A Concise Chinese to English Dictionary for Lovers by Zalo Guo. Uh, incredible book, 5 out of 5. Um, and then next up there's a vegan cookbook up there I'm going to flick through. And then I might pick up Blood for Coins by Cam Wolf here on uh, Booktube. Uh, of page nomad fame. But we will see. Uh, but I just wanted to film that little intro to get you guys started and uh, yes. Dane reads. Hello everybody, it is me, ya yeah boy. It is currently uh, 25 past 10 on Monday the 2nd of October. Um, I'm currently just cracking on and being productive. I'm super tired, not gonna lie. Um, still having problems with my knees. I uh, went off earlier to get some new curtains for the kitchen and living room, so that was uh, that kept me busy. Um, yes, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, so I finished reading uh, the Concise Chinese English Dictionary for Lovers. That was good. I read the vegan uh, cookbook that I don't know where it is now. Um, it was just a 3.5 out of 5 anyway. I'd, I'd probably... I mean, I've added it to my haul. I don't know if I'm going to really care about making sure I get the name right for here. Um, I'm now reading Blood for Coins, the Sabres Noctem book one by Cam Wolf of Wolfshot Publishing slash uh, Page Nomad here on Booktube. It's okay. Um, the world building's pretty good. There's some stuff with tenses, like it keeps hopping between present and past tense um, and has directly addressed the reader a few times, which are like pet peeves of mine. But the layout is very nice, so that's good. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of struggling with it just because it's fantasy, to be honest, and I quite often find fantasy authors have a habit of just dumping like loads of names at you and I'm just like you know Sabres Noctem okay I don't know what that means yet Coral Grave that's a place um, there's a swear word that keeps getting used that I've forgotten the name of now the word but yeah there's uh, you know I'm I don't know I just find fantasy place names a little bit cringe in general um, but Cam's do, done it you know as well as anyone else does I guess my only other criticism would be that lengthwise even though I'm only you know two third well chapter three I think so what I am about slightly over about a fifth of the way through um, it feels like a novella if anything it feels like something that you would use as a lead magnet to get new readers in rather than book one of a fantasy series certainly not of an epic fantasy series um, but yeah it's 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 all right and then oh what am I gonna read next I think I'm gonna read Handy Mandy and Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson to continue my uh, voyage through the Oz series so that is where I'm at Hello, it is me. It is uh, quarter to midnight on Tuesday the 3rd of October. Still much of the same really. I'm still reading Blood for Coins by Cam Wolf. I've done a bit of uh, editing tonight which has been good. Just cracked on with a few bits and bobs there. Um, I My knee still hurts. It was actually so bad that I couldn't sleep last night because of the knee pain. So I didn't get to sleep till about 8 or 9 a.m. Um, we will see what happens tonight. I will probably get into bed in a minute and do a little bit of work, watch some Netflix and stuff. I might watch that new movie that's out about the, woman, the pregnant woman in the shipping container. Um, so I might watch that and then continue watching the documentary series I was watching on Alien Encounters, even though I'm... Um, I mean, I believe in alien life, I don't believe in little green men, you know. Um, but anyway, yes, uh, I just thought I'd give you a quick update. Did some bits out in the garden, got some new garden bits arrived as well. I am mega skinned, so I need to start earning some money. But I have at least invoiced some more clients. So we will see how that goes. Yes, that is all I've got for you. I'm, oh, and I might go and make a stir fry in a minute, because I haven't made dinner. Don't know. Hello everybody, it is uh, 25 past 4 on Wednesday the 4th of October. Um, still continuing to be productive, still reading Blood for Coins, did a lot of work in bed last night. I did watch that movie, it was pretty good. Um, my cleaner is theoretically coming around today, but I kind of never know whether she's actually coming around or not until she shows up. Because I might get a message in like three hours being like, oh shit, I was supposed to come today, wasn't I? So we will see what happens. I do have an Asda shop coming later. I've also been out in the garden doing a little bit out there, but my knee is still very painful. Um, but yeah, it's looking nice out there now. Getting it really nice and ready for winter, really. Um, Shay is working today and tomorrow. I think she has Friday off, so I will hopefully see her then. 
have a couple of calls tomorrow, I have a lot of deadlines coming up. I'm just hard at work trying to make some pennies, you know how it is. Um, but I did get paid by one client today, so that was nice. Yes, although I owe some other people money. I owe everybody money, it's, it's not good. Yo, quick update, it is um, just coming up to half past 11 on Thursday the 5th of October. Both of my calls earlier went okay. I've been working pretty hard since then because I didn't I slept really late because I decided I was gonna lie in bed till my leg stopped hurting um, Then I got out of bed and went to the shop which made my leg hurt and the reason I went to the shop was to drop a fucking parcel after every uh, And they have these like container things or whatever like lockers, but all the lockers are full So I've got to go back and try again tomorrow even though my leg hurts like a bitch So I am not happy about that, but it is what it is um, I'm still reading that Cam Wolf book, Blood for Coin. It's still I. It's probably going to be 3.5 out of 5. Biggie's down there. I have a call potentially on Saturday, a, a, a video call, to potentially adopt a cat. And the cat's name is Shay. So it seems very fitting. My uncle sent it to me actually on the family WhatsApp group. And yes, I've been trying to adopt Shay. So we will see what happens with that. I will, I guess, update you once I have news. Um, got my Asda shop yesterday as well. My cleaning's all done. So now I'm just trying to tidy up a little bit myself. I think I'm going to make some um, a stir fry in a minute. We'll see. And I should probably shower because it's getting a bit ridiculous, to be honest. Neat. I smell. Yo, hello everybody. It is currently 25 past 11 on Friday the 6th of October. Um, I went to bed pretty late last night. I was watching this documentary. Uh, what was it called? I can find it super quickly. It was a murder one. Ice cold... It's called Ice Cold, Murder, Coffee and Jessica Wong, so about somebody who killed somebody in, not in the Philippines, Indonesia I think it is, um, and uh, yeah it was in uh, fucking Jakarta, and yeah there, there was some cyanide in their coffee basically, but I mean I'm only halfway through so I don't know, I know Jessica Wong so is in jail for the crime, but I don't, I think it was all circumstantial evidence, um, she seems like a very interesting Kind of character anyway i was watching that fell asleep I woke up this early this afternoon because shay came round um because she's on her day off today so yeah that was nice a nice thing to wake up to had a little bit of a cuddle played some mario we completed super mario brothers wii for the second time uh and then i forgot to save so we completed it for the third time except actually if you've played this game basically we got all of the star coins um, but we've missed one of the secret exits, which is just the last thing we need to do to 100% it. So, we've got to figure out which one it is. And we did actually go through. We can't figure out which one it is that we've missed. So, we're literally just going to have to go through the whole list of all the secret exits and do them all again, one by one, until we figure out which one it is that we didn't do. Um, so, yeah, we did that. And then, I had to, um, to pay a check-in to the bank in town um, and drop something off into a, a post box. And um, yeah, Shay was, she's been looking to get a kitten. I've actually looking to adopt a cat as well, called Shay. I have a phone call about it tomorrow where they, they want like a tour of the house, a video tour of the house. Um, but yeah, Shay had been chatting to somebody on, um, I can't remember what the thing's called now, but uh, like a pets rehoming thing. Um, so yeah, we arranged to go and look at the cats. And then we spent 100, well, Shay spent 150 pounds in pets at home on various cat bits. Um, and then we went to look at some cats in Slough and came home with a new cat who is currently called Luna. We don't know if we're sticking with that name. Again, it's Shay's cat, it's not mine, I'm just the stepdaddy. Um, but I'll pop, pop a little bit of footage here. She's just a kitten, she's 11 weeks old, I think. July 6th, she was born on. Hi, cutie. So, yes, welcome Luna to the family. Biggie's little sister. So, yes, that is where I'm at. Um, I'm still reading Blood for Coins by Cam Wolf. It is still pretty good. Uh, I hopefully finish it soon. <laughs> and, yeah, I guess I'm not doing park run tomorrow because my knee is still knackered. Mm. 
Hello, it is me. Yes, I am still reading Blood for Coins. I don't know what's wrong with me. I used to read books like this in like two days. Well, I do know what it is. It's because I, I quit smoking and I stopped vaping as well. And I used to read while I smoked and then vaped. I do still vape a little bit, but it's like z uh, zero milligram of nicotine in there. So I'm not addicted to nicotine. I just vape every now and then, you know. So I've not been reading as much as I'd like to. I will be going, um, I will be going back to the gym hopefully next week. I don't know. It was, uh, well, it's Saturday, uh, the 7th of October, about 5 past 10. Knee's still dodgy, so I didn't do parkrun this week. I think next week I'm going to be good enough to go back to the gym, but probably not enough to do parkrun until the week afterwards. Um, so there is that to bear in mind. But yes, when I go back to the gym, I'll probably spend next week just on the cycling machine, um, which means I can read my book as well. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, I had my interview call to potentially adopt Shay, the cat, not the person. So um, hopefully she might be coming next week. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out next week, I suppose. Um, I'm just waiting to hear from um, waiting to hear from the lady I spoke to. Um, she's confirmed that all's good, so she's going to send me through some paperwork and put me in touch with the driver who's going to drive uh, Shay down to come to live with me. So. Yeah, so probably on Monday next week, I'm going to have to go to Pets at Home and spend a bunch of money on cat stuff, which is fine. Very exciting. That's where I'm at. I'm just doing a bit of work now. I'm going to get in bed in a minute. I finished watching that um, Ice Cold about that uh, woman, Jessica... Mm, mm, Jessica, what's her name? Jessica Wong. So, so now I've started watching Rosa Peral's tapes, but I literally only started watching it yesterday. I think this is a Spanish case about two police... Like a policeman and a policewoman who killed another policeman due to love and stuff so we'll find out i'll watch that soon um but yeah that's me pretty much up to date i don't have a huge amount to give you guys an update on hello everybody it is me it is uh i'm slightly blurry for some reason it's uh 11 p.m on sunday the 8th of october i'm gonna keep this going for another week because why not i'm literally the last five or so pages of blood for coins by cam wolf now i can't believe it's taken me so long to read um, but, but my, my knee is feeling a little better. I don't want to say it's healed, but it's feeling a little better. Um, and so because of that, I'm hopefully going to go to the gym tomorrow and uh, to do, um, like just to go on the exercise bike, really. That's all I'll probably do. Um, I also need to go to pets at home because I need to go and get like litter trays and beds and food bowls and stuff because Shay, the feline cat Shay, is going to be coming to live with me on Tuesday. So I have a new cat coming soon. So Biggie, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a little sister, Biggie. I don't know where he is. Um, I was in bed quite a lot last night. I watched, I finished watching the Rosa Perel tapes, which I've been watching, and then I watched a bit of 28 Days Haunted and a bit of Beckham, which is just a documentary about David Beckham, which was quite interesting because it was kind of making me nostalgic because I remember all the players he used to play with in like the 90s and stuff. Um, and they were all kind of in, featured in it and stuff. So I remember like a lot of the stuff happening. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably watch a bit more of that this evening. Going to head through in a little bit. Um, and then as I say tomorrow I need to go to pets at home So I'm planning on hopefully meeting Shay at the gym at 1 p.m. Doing an hour on the exercise bikes going to pets at home and then we'll come back here um, I have my call at 5 so I guess she'll head back to Luna um, to be with her cat um, But she'll be able to come back for a little cuddle bit of Mario and um, I made a very delicious I've just had a bowl of it um, uh, fucking what's it rhubarb crumble with rhubarb from the garden which has been delicious I've been quite busy out in the garden in general I've finished putting out some solar lights I've finished putting out some fencing so all I need to do out there now I need to mow the lawn do the weeding and actually just while I'm out there I've got these I've got these little tiny cacti um, and I've got some nicer pots for them than the pots they came in so I'm going to transfer them over to those um, but I need to get some compost to do that and actually I don't really know how to do it because Potting cacti is going to be painful, you know. Normally, I'd be tapping the the soil in, but anyway, that's where I'm at. I will update you tomorrow and on Tuesday. Hopefully, you might get to see uh, Shay. I don't know. She she's a very timid cat, so she might hide when she gets here. We'll see. Hello, everybody. Yo, it is um, 23:06, so five past eleven in the evening of Monday, the 9th of uh, October. Uh, busy all day, so I went to bed relatively early last night, slept okay, got up about noon, um, and then went to meet Shay, we went to the gym, so we had a gym session, that went okay, my knee held up, 
um, and then we went to Tesco and then we went to Pets at Home where I got a bunch of stuff for Shay the cat who is being delivered tomorrow at some point I don't know when I think the guy said he's gonna set off pretty early so I guess I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm probably just not gonna sleep much to be honest that works though so if I don't sleep I don't have any calls and stuff tomorrow so if I don't sleep particularly well tonight it's fine because I can I can sleep once Shay is here um, and she's gonna need some time just to settle in anyway you know uh, by herself without me annoying her all of the time so um, yeah that's probably what will, will happen there um, and yeah I got a bunch of stuff came back did my call my Monday call um, and then I've just been being productive ever since trying to get the house tidy a few little bits in the garden as well um, I finished reading last night um, Cam Wolf Blood for Coins, which is okay. It was like a 3.5 out of 5. I then read Handy Mandy and Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, the next Oz book. Probably a fairly strong 3.5 out of 5. I think I enjoyed it more because I've read the entire thing in one go on the exercise bike at the gym. Uh, it took about an hour or so. And then after that, I picked up How, uh, sorry, No How, To Be a Cat by Matt Haig. Uh, which is like a, a, a middle grade book, so um, it's pretty good so far. Uh, on course for maybe a four out of five. Uh, it's basically I've been describing it to people as um, uh, Franz Kafka's Metamorphosis, except with the cat. So, but yeah, I've been enjoying reading that, and um, that's where we're at. We're going to keep this vlog going. Maybe I will show you some footage of uh, Shay tomorrow. We'll see. I mean, I could. Why not? I'll really quickly show you what we've got going on down downstairs. Biggie's there in the window. So this is the office that you're seeing here. And you can see bits that there need to go downstairs. So um, just to sort of help them to settle in a little bit, we're going to be keeping them separate, especially because Shay's quite a timid cat. So Biggie's going to be staying upstairs. Uh, and then Shay is going to be in here in the living room. So as you can see, I've made this little lock on the door. It's just a bit of string. It's not perfect. Um, but it should stop Biggie from being able to go in and disturb her too much. And then at the moment, I've got the lights off and it's just chilling. It's got cat music playing in here. And my fell away plug-in, which is supposed to... Um, it's like got pheromones and stuff to help settle them in. So yeah, we've got a litter tray, a little scratchy post. This blanket here is the one that's on what I call the eagle's nest, the bit where Biggie sits in the in the bedroom, and it's covered in his fluff. Because um, you're supposed to introduce them to each other like that, give them, get them used to each other's smell first. So hopefully Shay's going to come with something of hers that I can introduce to Biggie. She can also hide behind. There we go. Shay's on the video camera. Um, Hi guys. Hello. I don't know which one you're coming out of. I can't tell. That one, I think. Um, so yeah, she can hide behind the sofa. She'll be able to sit on the sofa as well uh, Little food and water bowls there got some water in not food yet. They haven't told me yet what uh, she likes Got a little cat bed there uh, Oh, what was that? That was the catnip thing. That's cat grass. It hasn't grown yet. Yeah, so these cameras that Shay's uh, watching us on voyeuristically are um, There's little security cameras that I've got so I use these when I'm out but I've got these set up so that I can keep an eye on her without having to come in here and disturb her all the time, you know? And then we have this new cat tree, which is very exciting. So eventually that's gonna come up in the office. Uh, and some toys on the floor and stuff. So yeah, that's everything. So now we have to come back. Oh, this is the kitchen. I haven't really shown you guys a lot of the, um, you know, pink walls and all that stuff because we redecorated in here. I did say in one of my vlogs, uh, if you want to see the, the uh, updated house tour, let me know. And nobody let me know, so you didn't get an updated house tour. Yeah, and then that's where Biggie stuff is down there. Hello everybody, it is me. It is uh, 22.40 on Tuesday the 10th of uh, October. Shay is here now, little kitty cat. She is very shy, so she's currently sat in the corner of the living room, so I don't want to go and disturb her yet to put her on cam for you guys, but eventually, hopefully, she'll come out. Biggie's been in the room a couple of times as well, so he's helped himself to some of her food. Um, where is he, actually? He must be in the bedroom, I think. Um, but yeah, he's done that, and he's like nosed around. He knows something's up. I don't know if the two of them are aware of each other's presence yet, but we've not had any like fighting or anything like that, so that's good. Um, the downside is I can't really lock the living room, which is where Shay is. So I've, I've put the bin 
in front of it, the, like this big cardboard box with a load of recycling in, to try and stop Biggie from being able to get in. We'll see whether that works or not um, overnight tonight, I suppose, um, and see how we get on. Um, but yes, yeah, so the guy came and dropped her off at about 12.30 today, and um, she's mostly been just hiding ever since. Um, which is fine, it takes a while for them to settle in, especially when like she, uh, they're timid. I mean, she's been in rescue centre for two years and is only two and a half years old, bless her. So, um, anyway, so yes, she is in. Um, I went to town earlier to do a few bits and nip to the bank. Um, went to see Shay at work. And I went to the gym as well, where I finished reading To Be A Cat by Matt Haig. I read 200 odd pages of this on the exercise bike. Um, so I've now started Under Milkwood by Dylan Thomas, but I can't tell you anything about it yet because I'm literally on page two or three of the introduction. Um, but I'm excited to, to read more of it. And yes, the Matt Haig book, probably a four out of five. Very funny, very moving. It's one of those books that's written for kids, but there's plenty there for adults as well, you know? So that is where I'm at. I'm just going to crack on with being productive uh, as much as I can, really. I have a client call at 2 a.m., tomorrow but like not tonight tomorrow 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 is that so it's actually on thursday 2 a.m um so we will see but shay's on a day off tomorrow so i think we're going to try and meet up for some lunch or something and then i might go back to hers to go and um to go and meet luna even though i met her in the car but you know just go and quickly say hello um i'll probably go to the gym as well so maybe gym meet up with shay go back to hers and then obviously come back to get into work mode ahead of this call and then another call on Thursday, and then another one on Friday, and then I have the weekend. So, yes, but I do also have a deadline for Friday, which I'm making okay progress towards, but I could be doing better. All right, well, that is little vlog update for today. Yo, hello everybody. It is currently 6.40 a.m. on the Monday of Sunday, the 15th of October. I haven't slept yet because my sleep is fucked. I've been working super hard all weekend on some client stuff. Just trying to make some deadlines and things like that that um, that I've been struggling with. I think I've got most of them, them caught now. And that message from WhatsApp is from Shay, who is not a... Oh, okay, her cat woke her up, so that's why. Speaking of cats, I have Biggie there in the windowsill. I have Shay, the cat, downstairs in the living room. She, she's still settling in. She still hides from me, but she's been eating. She's been using her litter tray, and I can see on the camera she'll come out now um, and explores the living room a little bit, so that's good. So hopefully next week... I'm going to try to introduce Biggie and Shay to each other again and see how we get on. Because at the moment, the way it's working out is that she just lives in my living room and I have to keep the living room locked, which isn't ideal. You know, it would be nice if she felt as though she could explore the whole house, even if she did still hide from me, at least if she got to see a bit more, you know? Um, and if her and Biggie get on, but we'll see. Bookwise, I can't for the life of me rem remember where I was last time I updated you. I've still been going to the gym every day and doing the exercise bike. And that means like there's about just over an hour each day, uh, an hour and five minutes with my cool down each day of reading time. So I've been reading quite a lot. So, um, well, I read To Be A Cat by Matt Haig, which was a strong four out of five. I'm actually just editing my, my video review of that now, so that will be coming out soon. Very fun middle grade book. Uh, it's kind of like Kafka's Metamorphosis, except with a teenage boy turning into a cat. I read Handy Mandy in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, which is just the next book in the Oz series. Uh, I don't know what number it is by this point. Actually really enjoyed that. Probably a strong 3.5 out of 5. One of the better later Oz books. It may, my enjoyment of it may have been helped by the fact that, again, I read that in one go on the exercise bike. Read the whole thing in one. Uh, then I read Under Milk Wood by Dylan Thomas. Probably a 3.5 out of 5. I do like what he's doing with it. It's just, it's difficult to read sometimes. I can imagine it working really well, either in like Alan Bennett talking head style or basically as a radio play or an audio book, like a full cast audio book, which is kind of what it's designed to be. It kind of tells you this, this story of this small Welsh village uh, whose name is, I can't pronounce it, but it's bugger all spelled backwards. Um, and it's kind of like about village life narrated by the characters themselves i guess you would say um it is fun it is playful it's just quite hard to actually read i just think it would be a, would have been a lot more impactful if i'd you know listened to it or seen a performance of it because it is a play uh then i read hitler's canary by sandy toxvig strong four out of five maybe actually no i'm going to give you nice i'm going to give it a 4.5 out of five 
Um, this is another middle grade book by Sandy Toxvig, who is the current host of QI. She's a Danish presenter, TV host. She's done various things in her, in her career. Uh, and this is uh, it's basically it's Hitler's Canary because Denmark was called Hitler's Canary during the war. Um, that you know Hitler would tell them to sing and they would sing. It was the idea. And it follows some members of the Danish resistance as they try and smuggle Jews out of Denmark. A lot of it is actually true. Um, and the fiction is still true in a sense in that it's all based on stuff that Toxic's own family did. So that was really cool. Um, then I read The Wizards of Once by Cressida Cowell. Uh, this was two, two exercise bike sessions so you can see how I'm getting through some of these. I mean again it is middle grade with a lot of illustrations so it's not the longest of books really. Um, but yeah, that's basically about this world where you've got the wi uh, the wizards on one side, the warriors on the other side, and they kind of don't really like each other, but they have to unite to fight against the witches, who are the big bad guys. Um, a very simple way of putting it, but yeah, that was really enjoyable. Full review of that coming soon. So there's going to be a review of uh, To Be A Cat, Handy Mandy, Hitler's Canary, Wizards of Once, and this next book I'm going to talk about um, all coming soon. But yeah, The Wizards of Once I gave a 4 out of 5 to. Uh, and then I'm now currently reading Q by fucking, what's her name, um, Christina Doucher, I think it is, something like that. It's the person who wrote Vox, um, which was really good. Vox was about women only having a certain number of words they could speak per day. Q is basically about the whole world is, is measured on like an IQ uh, scale and your IQ determines what you get in life. Uh, it's kind of like an episode of Black Mirror, like with the social credit score. And well, it is. It's the Chinese social credit score taken to the next extre extreme, um, which is what both Black Mirror and Q, I think, have both done probably independently. Um, and yes, it's set in the U.S. It's very Handmaid's Tale in some in some uh, some ways as well. But yeah, again, I say I, I started reading that on the exercise bike yesterday. Uh, well, the day before yesterday now, and then read some more yesterday, and I'm about 100 pages from the end, so should finish that soon. Um, and that seems like a good place, I guess, to leave you guys. Um, hopefully next week, Shay will have settled in a little bit more. Um, fucking Snowball is up there now. The big teddy that I won for Shay, human Shay, at Drayton Manor. Um, because it was in the living room, but it, was, it takes up a lot of space, as you can see. Um, and yeah, I'm just cracking on. I've kind of done most of my tidy stuff, really. So I'll probably go to bed soon, but I'm just doing a little bit more while I still can, while I'm still awake. Uh, and that seems like a good place to end this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.